What am I doing in this royal carriage? I summoned it with YP, the best local app ever, with Uber built right in. Conroy, take me to the haberdashery. That's not my name, sir. <laughs> sir. How do I get away with this? I bought tickets directly from the YP app, and with Fandango built right in, I go right to my primo seats with this obscene bucket of corn. Hot. <laughs> Download the YP app. Do it now. Hello and welcome to another edition of the Duggar Bauckham Show. I'm your host, Mike Legg, with the head coach of the Citadel Bulldogs, Duggar Bauckham. And since the last time we sat down, Coach, you've had quite a few games that you've gone through, some of those on the road. One was a trip to Spartanburg, a tournament environment, multi-team event, and you were able to go through it unscathed. So uh, that hopefully is uh, something that uh, uh, could bear well for you later on in the season. Well, thanks, Mike. We um, had a great Thanksgiving. You know, we played the Wednesday before, took Thanksgiving off, and then played Friday and Saturday. And we're fortunate enough to win all those games, beat a good Georgia Southern team and on Wednesday and had Thanksgiving as a team on Thursday and then beat Bob Jones, who uh, had actually beat Upstate within the tournament. And then we finished up with Upstate and uh, beat them at, as, at the conclusion and uh, were able to win that thing. And it was great for the guys, a lot of excitement. Great way to spend the holidays together. With the pace that you play, I would think that that was quite a challenge to play that many games in that few a days. What kind of challenges did you encounter on that trip? It was fatigue we were a little bit worried about, um, but we were able to play 12 guys most games, and um, that's certainly a luxury. Um, there's not a whole big difference in our guys from the top to bottom, and uh, guys came, particularly Matt Frierson came in the game and gave us a lift at Georgia Southern, and that helped give him some confidence to play the rest of the tournament. Connor Schrader did the same thing, came in against Bob Jones, I think had uh, like 15 points in eight minutes or something like that against Bob Jones. So, uh, and he's been a part of our rotation since. So those guys, for two freshmen to come in and make that contribution was huge. After that, go to a trip to Air Force that uh, got December kind of off and running there. So uh, another road trip against a high caliber team there. Yeah, go out and play a Mountain West team. Uh, Pretty good challenge for us. We ended up losing that one by four, but thought the guys played well. We were up six at the half, and uh, the first four minutes of the second half, they came out and kind of punched us in the mouth, and we were kind of playing catch up after that. But proud of the guys. I mean, they certainly competed, never, never let go, and we actually had a chance uh, under a minute down three if we'd get one stop, and and we didn't. But uh, the guys competed, uh, played really well together, and made 18 threes that game. So against the Mountain West team, I was pleased with that. After that, a couple of uh, ball games at home. Uh, you come home for the College of Charleston game, and he obviously would say that that was the premier game on your uh, schedule, particularly in the non-conference portion of your schedule. And then a uh, victory over Voorhees. So talk about the brief amount of time that you were home there for a couple of games. Yeah, the Charleston's probably the most disappointing game we've had so far. Um, to be up with four going into the last media timeout and only score two points after that, um, certainly not how we wanted to end that game. I think we learned some lessons from that game. We had a couple guys kind of act out of character, uh, not do, um, act their role great, try to do more probably. not Certainly not a, uh, a selfish thing, but just trying to help our team out a little bit too much. And I think we've learned from that. If we stay within the system, things will happen better. But, uh, so certainly not the way we want to finish. But then the day before exams, we have Voorhees here. And uh, very fortunate to win that game, actually. Uh, they came in at 9-4 and four and played really good, very athletic. Um, bunch and we were down at the half in that game but I was happy with the guys resilience how they uh, kind of came back together we had an 18-0 run that kind of got us over the hump midway through the second half and made some plays at the end so hope we learned two lessons on our homestand and uh, then you know start exams so game always before exams a little bit tough the guys are a little bit distracted but uh, certainly glad we won that one and uh, the uh, ball club has played a lot of its games in the early part of the season on the road. So uh, before we talk about some other things regarding the team, talk about the road and what you do out there in terms of uh, trying to keep it as much like a home environment as possible with practices and, and traveling and all of the different things that can kind of take you out of a routine. Yeah, this year um, the majority of our games have been on the road. I think six of them have been away from home out of our first ten. And uh, a couple involved flights. And when you have air travel, it's a whole different 
you know, can of worms, you have a, a lot more to, to handle because you're limited in what you can take um, for practice and things like that. So that's a unique challenge in itself, uh, the air travel and getting there early and a lot of layovers in airports and things like that. Um, so we don't do that a whole lot uh, by design, actually, because we'd rather stay on our bus if possible. Uh, but the other games, like Spartanburg, we were in a hotel together. Uh, it allowed us to grow, I think, as a little bit as a team. We were able to eat our meals together, uh, spend the holidays together. A lot of the kids' families were in, so got to spend some time with them, which is good. Um, but traditionally on the road, we, uh, we ha try to handle it as a business trip. You know, we practice at home, get on the bus, have our food on the bus, um, pretty quiet on the bus. You know, the guys got on their headphones and so forth. We get to the hotel, and the next day um, we get prepared to play. We watch film, we have a walkthrough, then we'll go shoot around. Uh, shoot around is total game preparation for that day. Uh, then have pre-game meal together. And then uh, once we get on the bus, it's a pretty silent time. Everybody getting focused um, to go try to get a, a road victory. Nothing, I always tell the guys, nothing sweeter in sports than winning on the road. Um, the locker room celebrations and the uh, excitement on the bus afterwards, uh, nothing compares to that. Can you believe that you have played about a third of your games already? That's hard to believe. <laughs> that really is uh, that we're already 10 games into our 31 game uh, regular season schedule. I mean, it is, uh, it is hard to believe. Um, but I'm proud of the guys. I think we've grown as a team. I think we've gotten better and um, are better teammates, um, playing better together and trusting one another and trusting the coaches. And uh, I love our guys. I think our guys, uh, for the hodgepodge we kind of started with, you know, uh, a mix of the guys we had. Uh, I couldn't be more pleased with how they've kind of bonded. You've touched on chemistry now. Can you talk about other pluses and minuses from the first third of the season, maybe more on court type things? Yeah, um, we went through a spell where we were shooting the ball really good. Uh, our first seven games in, we were shooting it good. Uh, we fell off kind of the Charleston and Voorhees game, which uh, is kind of disappointing. I hope we'll get that back. Um, some of that may have to do with um, how we were defended, but um, we need to, you know, consistently shoot over 35% from three because we shoot so many of them. Uh, so that's the one negative. Uh, actually, in those games, we actually did a good job on the boards. So it, it's been kind of, we either shot it real well or gotten um, beat on the boards or vice versa. Uh, I would like a combination of both. That would be ideal. Um, but having these other guys step up, the freshmen, like I say, Matt and Connor stepping up and, and playing quality minutes. Quay's been good all year as a freshman. I mean, he's averaged double figures, which is pretty unique for a freshman to do that. We are uh, coming up on another uh, home stand, but not until January the 2nd. That's when the league play starts. You'll get all of your non-conference games out of the way by the end of December. And so uh, Chattanooga is here on January the 2nd. How set up for league play do you feel like you are with the non-conference schedule that you've played to this point? Well, certainly we should be prepared to play on the road because <laughs> we've done so much of that. Uh, by the time it's complete, I guess we'll have had four home games and uh, nine road games, so that's a lot. Um, but we got Chattanooga coming in here, and the league didn't do us any favors uh, starting off with them. They've already won three of their guarantee games, beating Georgia, Illinois, and Dayton all on the road. Um, so really tough task, and they were picked to win the league. Uh, so they made everybody believers, caught a lot of people's eyes in the country with how well they're playing. But, but certainly, um, you know, we, we will have played some quality opponents, different styles, uh, some zone, some man, uh, some pressure. Um, so I think, I think we'll be ready. Um, it'll certainly be a tough task. So starting conference play, everybody, there's not a lot of secrets. So people know people, and um, it'll, it'll certainly be a tough task for us. As we sit here today, we are ahead of Christmas, uh, and uh, I know that the guys were involved and the team was involved with uh, a Toys for Tots program that made Christmas a little bit better uh, for a bunch of younger kids. Yeah, and uh, credit our guys with that. You know, we had a little talk about the less fortunate and what Christmas means to everybody, and Christmas to a Division One basketball player means that you're not home very much. Um, you forego a lot of the furlough that the other traditional students get. Um, but it was our way of kind of making Christmas special for other people and basically that's what Christmas is all about, um, doing things for others and our guys were all about that and excited about that and you know 
the Toys for Tots is, is unique because you give the gifts unwrapped. Our guys didn't really understand that concept. You know, they wanted to wrap the gifts and then give it to the to the kids in uh, a little bit different way they do it. But uh, the meaning is still the same, and I was real proud of our guys to understand that there's a lot more than basketball, and uh, there's a lot of people out there watching them and um, just doing the right thing on and off the court and being good ambassadors for the Citadel. Big gap in your schedule from the 19th of December until the 29th of December. Obviously, that gives your young man an opportunity to be at home a little bit. How important is that to you when you make the schedule every year to make that time away happen for them? It's really important um, when you're at a place like the Citadel. Uh, you know, I was, had 10 years of experience at BMI being in a military school, and for our freshmen, it's the first time they really get to go home the whole first semester. So we try to give them a little break. So we'll break on the 19th after the Campbell game, and we'll bring them back in on the 26th because we have to get ready for Charlotte, who we play on the 29th. But uh, a six-day break in college basketball is huge. Uh, a lot of teams get one or two days. I remember when I was an assistant at Davidson, we practiced on Christmas Day. So um, our guys do get a little break, but it's important. They get to spend it with their family, uh, get back home a little bit, and then all business when we come back on the 26th. Happy holidays. Thanks for the visit. <laughs> Happy holidays to you, too, and all the Bulldog fans out there. Uh, come see us play in January, and I hope they all have a wonderful holiday season. For Head Coach Duggar Bauckham, I'm Mike Legg. Thanks for joining us on the Duggar Bauckham Show. We'll see you next time. Style. Selection. Service. Quality. Value. See what everyone is talking about. Ashley Furniture Home Store.